hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel Timicket. today i want us to look at how uh, to remove a micro tip pot from slave mode uh, the image you see in front of you is the image of uh, the micro tip rb750 router this router is good for small offices and home offices now the router has six uh, physical ports as can be seen here in this image eta1 all through to beta 5 but logically there are two internet ports the internet port and the LAN port this is so because eta 3 eta 4 and eta 5 are all slaves to eta 2 so configuration wise you have the LAN IP address assigned to eta 2 JCP everything all to eta 2 but when you have a, 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 the, the device plugged to 3 4 or 5 it will take IP address from the configuration you have on ETA2. The problem then comes when you want to segment this network. Say you have a guest network that you want to be for your guest, and then you have that access point that should serve the guest block to ETA3. It shouldn't take IP address from your internal network, which is from ETA2. So you want to configure a separate network for ETA3 and have it work on its own. So if you have such situation, you have to remove this port from slave mode so without wasting much time it's going to be straightforward uh, some uh, uh, configuration we will log on to the router and i will show you how you can quickly do that but before we do that if you know you are yet to subscribe to this channel please 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 subscribe and turn on post notification so here on windows we go to interfaces and then try to check the configuration setup we have here so if you look at what i have here you will see that ETA2 is the master port. You can see here it is master. But now let's look at ETA3 and you will see that the master port on uh, ETA3 is ETA2. Same for ETA4 and then the same thing for ETA5. You will see that the master port is ETA2. But now let's look at ETA2. You will see that its master port is none. That is because ETA2 is a master. If you look at the IP address configured on this router, you will see that it is assigned to ETA2. So we want to remove 3, 4, 5 from the slave mode. So it's very easy. Simply go to the interface you want to remove from slave mode and then come to where you have the slave port. Click on the drop down arrow and you say none. So that makes uh, this port a standalone Ethernet port working on its own. Is no longer a slave to ETA2, and now we can assign IP addresses to these ports and have their DCP configured and have them work as standalone uh, network ports. So, thank you uh, for viewing, and please subscribe to this channel, comment, and then like this post and turn on post notification. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.